You're now rocking with the best Luminary Sounds, the number one station for independent artists. Uh, that's Funkentology, Black Odyssey. Funkentology. Is right. Funkentology. That's right. Okay, well, you sound like you want to go ahead. I just think, like, all of the songs are hitting it today. It's, yeah. it, it's every single song slaps, so I'm... Okay. I'm it up. Like, Let it's just bitch a... your brain. <laughs> okay. Hey. Yeah, hey. Okay. I'm sorry. It's definitely the vibe they were going for. They knew what they were doing with that song. And they just, that song hits it at every level. So I'm about it. So that song, that, life. that song hits, that song hits uh, on every level. It does. Yes. Black That's Odyssey. Right. F- Funkantology. Yep. Okay, what you got, Dean? What you doing? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and light that thing right on. Okay. Ooh. Dean is lighting it up. Yes, okay. sir. Okay, it okay. It kind of has that New Age George Clinton and the Funkadelics. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so, all right. Hey, yeah. I like yeah. that with the Funkadelics. Yeah, Funkadelics. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm really feeling that groove. You feel- <laughs> That's so, just my voice, man. No, I, I, I got you. No, I, I, I do agree. Uh, I'm lighting it up as well. I, I love this song. It had a little bit of the childish Gambino with a little bit of okay. Kendrick Lamarish kind of style. Uh, maybe it sounded like Dr. Dre could have kind of produced it the way it what came a together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was it yeah. was a great song. I'm like, man, how did this get on the? I don't know how it came on the radar. I said, I'm gonna put it out there and let's see, let's see what happens. I'm sure people are gonna love that song. That song is amazing. Yes. Funkintology. Yep. Yeah. Play that in the background. If Funk you can. Funk <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Funkintology. Uh man, it was it was a great song. It's a great song. A great song. Which I mean Man, the album. I don't even, maybe we should do a music review on that one day. Yeah. On the entire album. And we're gonna get back to the music vaults when uh Francois gets back, so we're just waiting for France. Yeah, we're just waiting for, for the great to get back so we can really put that back into rotation. But, yeah, this is another song we're putting in. You know, 30 Days. Yep. Black Odyssey Funkin to, uh, Funkin'tology. Uh, Congratulations. We're just, we're just giving you guys all the hits today. We're giving you guys the hits today. So what else we got missing? Nothing but the hits. Nothing but the hits. <laughs> 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 See your voice right there. That was perfect. That, I, I love the Barry White. Nothing but the hits. I love it. I love it. Go ahead, Miss. Okay, something that is going around in a trending topic is the topic of the third wheel. The third wheel. Does anyone know where I'm going with this? I do not know where you're going with the third wheel. Okay, so we all know Oprah and Gail King BFFs for life. Right? Does everyone know who Oprah and Gail King are? Come on, Missy. Yes. <laughs> okay, well, you guys are looking you, at have me. Have you heard of Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> yes, our Lord and Savior. Yes. Okay. Yes, we know who you Oprah is. I'm not any, comparing her. Giving me anything. I'm not comparing her to the Almighty. I'm just saying, we know who Oprah is. Go okay, ahead. Okay, well, Go they ahead. have been best friends for over 45 years. Wow. Okay, Oprah and her man... Steadman have been together 28 years. Okay. And I have to tell you, it's going around that Oprah, Oprah and Steadman have never taken a vacation without Gail. Get out of here. What? Never. Get out, what Gail? <laughs> you got Gail. They're, they're BFFF. Stop it. This is, are you serious? Yes. It's going, it's. It's uh, they, Oprah and Gail said it themselves in an interview, like or do or a promotion for something that they're doing, and they have not. They just they're best friends for life. And Oprah says, if my you know if Stedman didn't like my best friend, then it just never would have worked out. Like he girlfriends are there for us for, excuse me. She said husbands <laughs> and boyfriends come and go, but girlfriends are there forever. And you know what? I agree with her, but not to the extent that my best friend goes on every Oh, vacation. man, come on, Gail. Yeah. Now, what is it, third wheel? Yeah, that's, that's what, what I'm saying. That's, that's, that's what, what I'm the third talking wheel about, is the that is, third wheel. That is a, that's crazy. But they love it. They all have so much fun. Like, they say that Oprah will say, hey, I'm going to take this trip, this trip, and this trip. And Gail doesn't even wait for the invite. She's all, oh, cool, I'm going to pack my bags, too. Like, I'm going I'm to a, I'm a book a trip as well. Go with you. <laughs> But they love it. I, I, I could, I could. No, there's no shade at all. Stedman hasn't come out. You know and said what? Any shade. You listen, maybe for us, you know, when we go to va- when we go on vacation, you know, we're at this level. When they go on vacation, 
you know, they may not see Gail for two days. Yeah. Right. You know, it's it's a different level. Like, you know, well, we're going on vacation, but you're staying way (laughs) over there and I'm way over here. And that's probably how maybe Oprah likes the fact that she has a best friend with her everywhere she goes. I I think that's exactly what it is. Yeah. And I have. So what started this, uh, however many years ago, is that. I mean, I believe 30 years ago okay. um, is she got divorced. Gail got divorced. And to make her best friend feel better, you know, she's like, come on, just go on vacation with me and Stedman. Like, let's just go. It's fine. Th- oh, that's how it started? Oh. Yeah, that's the- how it started. So it was like a healing thing. It was a healing thing. Exactly. Oh. Oh, so have but they it been has healed never- yet? I think. I mean, <laughs> it's, Gail's this never. This healing is taking a while now. <laughs> well, you need to move on, Gail. <laughs> It's taking no. a while. And I don't. I'm just saying. It's taking quite some time. Well, like I said, Oprah said that if her man didn't like it, then they wouldn't be together. I'm, so. I'm not saying the CBS check heals the wounds. I'm just saying that it it may help. Maybe right? them endless mimosas. I don't know. Some, <laughs> endless yeah. mimosas. Exactly. <laughs> so, something yeah. they doing. I, I don't know. Man. I it's helping the healing. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they got those spas and relaxation. Yeah, That's what I mean. yeah, come on, man. But you know, it's really funny though. I see this a lot on the other end. I see guys all the time take their guy best friends and drag them along to things. Like I've been out on dates where the guy will like meet, will meet up with his best friend later, and I'm like, what? Aren't we on a date? Like, what are we doing meeting up with your best friend? This is so weird. Yeah, that's true. I understand where you're coming from. That. So I, I, I don't see it. Like I don't often see it on the other side where the girl is like nope my best friend's like coming on this vacation <laughs> well I've, I've i love it though i think that <laughs> i've maybe seen it on the other side with the whole going out to dinner thing you know you you're out to dinner with somebody and then they're like oh my best friend's on the way like hold on time out yeah. <laughs> okay. I get. I, yeah. Who's, I who's did, paying I, for best friend? Uh, well, I got a. Oh, well, I have well, a story <laughs> about that. I Oprah's just can't pain. see it. Oprah's pain. Well, so she's like, I can bring whoever I want. You can bring whoever you want. Oprah's yeah. always paying. But I, I do. <laughs> I have got to my say, own villa too. So cool. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I do have to say though. I mean, isn't that what you do for your loved one though? If they're heartbroken and they're yeah, sad, absolutely. you're like, just come. Uh, I, my family and friends have done that for me many times. But like, just come, come to dinner with us, or come have drinks, or just come to the movies with us. I am my parents permanent third wheel <laughs> what i you're ain't gale? going nowhere you're gale you're I'm gale, I'm the gale. <laughs> you're, the gale. I'm the gale. you're gale okay she says i ain't going nowhere oh, i no. tell my mom but you I'll, give your parents privacy though right of, of course okay of course. All right. I, always, I always tell them like be, you guys yeah. should go out to dinner you guys should do this you guys should do that always and they're like we would but you're always there no no <laughs> how are you in the car before us <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i i mean we're just so so close and so tight like that i don't know and sometimes i'm like mom i need my own friends i can't be hanging out with my married parents all the time man that is hilarious yeah so people who think like my life is on and pop and i just like outed myself (laughs) 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 okay oh go ahead hit hit me up for plans because i'm not trying to to go on my mom's and dad's dates no more (laughs) hit her up for the plans oh man this is uh, hilarious what we're talking about here um uh, what, what else you we have got? any stories of uh, you have? I want to hear I, I, some no, stories. Actually, I, I can't have be the a story. only one sharing stories. I need to hear someone else. <laughs> uh, you got all the hot topics. That's why. <laughs> I, you got a, I have a story, but it's with Francois, and it was a tag along. He might be comfortable if I say, but I, I don't kind of want to say it. He's not here. He's not here to defend he's not himself. Here to, he's not here. But he's it, about to call. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, he's gonna call him. Yeah, I, I don't know if I should. I don't know if I should say that. Um, no, I have a story, but he's not here to, to give well, me. Well, have the, you ever been the third wheel? Never. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've never been the third. Ever. It's okay to be the third wheel. It's sometimes not okay you're to wanted. be the third. I've never. Sometimes you're wanted. <laughs> I have never been the third wheel. I don't plan on being oh, the third wheel. Oh, don't be so mad about it. I am mad because it's insulting. I'm too, I'm too cool to be the third wheel. Oh. I'm too cool to be the third wheel. You know what? I have other things to do than to just be the third wheel. You know, I was the third wheel. I take that very personal because I am very cool. <laughs> and wow. I, have been I am very cool wheel. and I am the third wheel. Uh, okay, so have I been the third wheel? 
I haven't. You know what? Let me just let me just record this here and now. And so this is hilarious. So if you ever if if you're if Chris is ever busy, Francois is ever busy, whoever's ever busy, and you're like, what can I do? And I'm like chilling, you know, on a date. You're never gonna be able to. And I'm like doing the coolest thing ever. <laughs> like yeah, I got free tickets. <laughs> I got extra tickets. All the side, bro. Oh you can't my come. goodness. It's the third wheel. Oh uh, <laughs> man, that is that is that is too funny. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Missy. I didn't mean to offend you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just excited. I'm yeah, just you're excited. excited. I am too. We got so many things to get into. Um, let's get into another music review, and we'll be back. This is with Caitlin Nicole Liar. Yes. I've been the third wheel. Oh my gosh. <laughs>